Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on OpenMP implementation in Fortran. Now in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to explain to you guys about uh, two concepts, nearly the parallel do block uh, and speed up ratios and speed up ratios. And while we do up, when we do uh, these, okay, I'll also show you guys how the threads work in action. And uh, some cases, and we'll also look at the ideal uh, speed up cases. Uh, the speed up ratio cases and how they uh, work as we go along with the pro problem size. Okay, now uh, first things first. Today I'll tell tell you guys about a parallel do block. Now what a parallel do block does is as follows. So basically, if we have a do block do loop let's, like this, let's say, and you have to break this do loop and uh, do uh, break this do, do loop or share the workload of this do loop between multiple threads then parallel parallel do block is the ideal thing to do what it does is that what it does is that it will take that overall do loop and uh, look at looks at the number of iterations then breaks this into more or less even even chunks of iterations and each chunk of iteration is done by one thread suppose there are like 1000 iterations in the la in the outermost loop let's say then there are four threads then each thread would get about close to 250 iterations in the case wherein that division is not a proper it's, it's not a proper okay and, and the left and the leftover region would uh, would be split it will be given to a single thread or it, it will be again reshared among the threads in such a manner that uh, each thread has uh, less amount each thread has more or less even work share okay that's the advantage of do block okay, a parallel do block on the other hand, if I just remove this do, let's say, and run this, run run this, what would ha what would ultimately happen is that this entire do block would be run run once by each, uh, it would be run once by each thread. This will not show any error, but the computation would be wrong. So keep that in mind. Parallel do is used for this is used for splitting the do loop, whereas parallel block is used for uh, making the execute making the commands run by each thread once so keep that in mind that's the main difference okay now what I what I have here is I just have a small program to make the matrix multiplication work I've included number of threads to be four I just start with four and uh, M N and O are pa integer parameters with which I'm uh, fix I'm uh, with which I'm initializing the sizes of a B and C creating the size of a b and c and then a b and c are initialized over here time t1 uh, i mean variables t1 t2 and ep are time snap variables now see here this function as you as you guys know sets the number of threads for the open mp to work and cpu underscore time invokes the invokes the time um, now cpu underscore time subroutine finds the time difference between some reference point in the past to the point Till this point where the when the function subroutine is called and and keeps the uh, keeps the time value in seconds in this variable t1, okay. And similarly, CPU2 uh, calculates the time difference in seconds between some reference point in the past till this particular point and keeps the time uh, value in seconds in this value in this t2. So if you subtract t1 and t2 t2 and t1 and uh, the result which is stored in EP is actually the time taken in seconds for the process for the, all the process that happen between these two subroutine calls so which is this is actually a simple way to find the time taken for uh, two op two operations that happened in fortran between two points now this is actually a crude method but this actually works pretty well for a uh, uh, pretty well for serial process but then for parallel process this is actually a crude method okay because if the workload on each thread is different then um, this may not work but for all practical purposes this is as this work this method is elegant and simple so you can work with that no issues and if you're working with a little more complicated or uh, more sp stringent methods stringent calculations then you might you might have to work find a better uh, better method and that uh, better time calculation method is available we'll come across that as we go along in some future tutorial okay now what I've done here is that in the parallel mode I've divided EP divided by number of threads because if I don't do that the time taken for the individual processes would be our individual process for all threads for all threads would be used for instance if there are four threads and each thread take took two seconds to do a job let's say then EP would be eight if there are four threads but actual time that elapsed would have been two seconds 
so that's the thing I'm trying to say over here and here this is just the diagnostics now uh, now with that being said this is the pro this is the main chunk of the program there's nothing difficult just a simple matrix multiplication algorithm and if you guys do not haven't done matrix multiplication algorithm before just take two matrices of some di indices m m uh, some indices and then uh, if you just work out the matrix multiplication manually and try to figure out a looping scheme for that don't worry you guys will figure this out in just in some time it took me about one and a half hours in the first time when i did this to figure it out that was when i was in a uh, uh, high school high school but don't worry that i was kind of like dumb in that time so it took more time but hopefully you guys will figure out much faster <laughs> don't worry about that okay okay uh that's ab that's about it now the ma the fun part of this program is not this loop actually it's the execution so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open my terminal uh, uh open my terminal and i'm going to run this today so what i'm before that what i'm going to do is that if i i just have to type u limit minus s and makes sh an u limit minus s and what happens here is that it says u limit minus s is 8192 okay what does it, this means is that this this means that we might come across something called a segmentation fault so i just have my serial code over here i just have a shell script over here to run this program serially or parallelly okay now what i'm going to do is that um, is that now let me run this serially and tell what's happening over here star.sh if i run this it says segmentation fault code dumped what does segmentation fault mean it means that the pre executable will try to access some memory variable some memory which it did, which either it did not have any access to or, uh, or that was being used by some other program hence the program shut down so it didn't it didn't execute okay that's what segmentation fault means the that that possible let me here in this pro program uh, we have very small stack size which is given by this command u limit minus s okay that's the reason why we get this error to avoid this error what you have to do is that we just have to type u limit minus s and then type unlimited unlimited so excuse me so if you press enter nothing happened but if you just type u limit minus s again it says unlimited so that's good now if you run this program again you won't get any problems so if you run this bash shell script again uh, it's working and now we should get uh, this should give us a result in some in a few seconds there you go for four threads okay since you have four threads over here it took about 7.44 seconds for